Ryan. Hi, Facebook friends. It's Steve at Kilroy. Welcome back to our Facebook page. It's a pleasure to be with you again today. One of the common things I uh, happens to me or experiences I have in, out in the field while I'm doing my pest control or my inspections is I come around termite droppings quite a bit. I find them in foundation vents, fence posts, sometimes in window seals. So I'm always knocking on people's door to give them a heads up. You may want to tackle this problem before it gets too expensive. But believe it or not, I need it's two different licenses. Pest control and termites are two different licenses. So there's not much I can necessarily do about it. So the common question I get is, do you know anybody that can help me out with this? Here's your man right here, Mike Ledesma. He's been our termite manager for over 20 years and run a really successful part of our business. And we're really proud that he's part of our, our company. Now, um, Mike, thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure sure, to be sweet. with you today. Sure. Um, now, most common thing I come across, especially in the springtime, is um, all the sputtering termites you see out in the field coming out of either a tree stump, sometimes just out of the soil. Right. Is that something they should be calling in to be concerned with, or is that something they should be concerned with if they only see that in their house? Yeah, those are subterranean termites, and they always swarm springtime, usually after a rain and the sun comes out. And they're usually boiling up out of the ground. If they're in the yards or in the pools, there's not a whole lot we can do. But if they're near the structure, you, you should have the, uh, a termite inspection on the building. And most of the time, it entails just some uh, soil treatment. So it's not like fumigation where you have to move out of the property. It's a soil treatment. So it's about as uninvasive as could be. But okay. subterranean termites, you should have it inspected, even though they're not in the structure at all. And that's generally the ones you see that are flying they're, around. They're flying around right now. It's the time for subterranean termites. Okay. Especially when it starts raining. Yeah. Especially when it starts raining. Now, I don't know if I'm making a mistake when I tell people this. When I knock on the door and I tell them the termite droppings, and you may want to jump on this. Now, am I looking at something that's a new problem, or is that something that's old and I'm just seeing the evidence after some years? It depends. If they've had some a fumigation before or a, a treatment before, it could be old pellets just sifting out. But then again, they should have it looked at by somebody in the termite department. Usually I recommend a full inspection, but if they just want us to take a look at the problem, we can do that. And usually we either have to fumigate the building or do some type of spot treatment for driver termites. That's great, great. Well, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of heads up on our termite department. Now you have no excuses. You know we have a termite department and you know who to go to. Mike's the, good, Mike's the guy in the business. So. Give us a call if you have any. If you see anything like what we just described to you, we'll be happy to help you out. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right.